Hi, welcome to The Mix at the San Francisco Public Library. My name is Ileana and I'm your humble host for the STEM Challenge Yourself series. In this series, we have our, some of our brightest librarians sharing some fun and creative projects that you could try at home. In today's challenge, our challenge master is going to introduce the sweet sounds of seeds. Take it away. Hello, hi, I'm Mr. Joseph and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make dance seeds. Have you tried moving objects with sound? With simply just sound? Well, today I'll demonstrate that. So you would need a jar, it could be a glass, a plastic wrap, and a rubber band, and some few seeds. If you don't have seeds at home, you can try this with salt or rice. And to begin, wrap the covering of the jar with a plastic wrap. Use the rubber band to secure it. And just pull the sides gently to secure and tighten the plastic wrap. The tighter, actually, the better. So, I let's test it if it's tight enough. Okay. Okay, now let's place our seed. We're going to start with this orange seed. And now I'm going to play my instrument. If you don't have instrument at home, you could always use pots and pans or you can use your sound. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try to make that seed move with simply just the sound. You ready? Is it moving? <laughs> Now, maybe it's too heavy. Let's try a different seeds. I'm going to use my favorite seeds of all, lentils. Super yummy lentils. I'm going to put two, move it to the center, and let's see. Hmm. It's still not moving. That's called science experiment. You just have to keep trying. Did you see that move? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try with my drum here and see if it moves better. And here's another seed. Pretty cool, huh? What is actually happening? Let's look at my illustration here. So, sound wave. Sound waves are created when a vibrating object vibrates, and that vibration causes the air molecules besides it to vibrate. It's like a domino effect. So, these air molecules will vibrate will cause its neighboring air molecules to also vibrate back and forth until it reaches the plastic wrap that causes it to vibrate. Here's more interesting facts about it. When, they, when I make a sound on the ukulele, why do I hear it? It's the same concept. So when the string of my instrument vibrates, that causes the air molecules to vibrate and enter into my ear. Inside our ears, there is an eardrum exactly like this that air molecules causes to vibrate, vibrate, and that sends information to our brain and determines what sound is that. So it's pretty cool. Let's do another demonstration. And I created a different one. You can also create another one and use the other one as your instrument. But I'm going to put some more beads here. And since this is a, a dancing party, I'm going to put several here, some sparkles. OK. 
because it's a disco. Okay, and I get my instrument. Are you ready? All right, just watch the seeds and some of my colorful beads. Now, if you don't have instrument, try humming inside our drum and make sure not to blow the seeds. Um. Try this fun experiment at home. Thank you and back to Ileana. Thanks, Joseph. That was a lot of fun. Did you know that next time you're dancing, you're actually participating in your own science experiment? You can try something like this or other STEM Challenge Yourself challenges at home. Be sure to check out sstl.org for more information about this series and other fun experiments. Stay stemtastic.